Welcome back to Sarasota Kaiser University Center for Culinary Arts. Today we are actually going to be making some paper cornets or writing bags for doing plate decoration or cake decorating. Okay, I've got a piece of parchment here and I've just folded it in half. And I am going to fold it in half again right after I cut it. So I've got a very sharp knife. I like to go along the edge of the table when I do this so that way my hands don't get in the way. If I were to cut it up here, I wouldn't be able to get my blade at a flat angle. So I'm going to fold my paper again. I've now cut my paper into quarters. So I've got four little rectangular pieces. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold my paper diagonal from the longest side to the other longest side there. And that's going to give me two right triangles, you can see. And I'm actually going to cut with my blade right across this long line here. I like to flatten it out with my knife. I like to make sure it's nice and, nice and flat, a very tight crease. So I'm left with a stack of right triangles. Now you can actually make these paper bags out of any type of triangle. I like to do it out of the right triangles. I think that um, once I roll it up, um, this longer side helps keep it tight. And I know how many I can get out of a sheet of paper. I get you know eight every time. So what I'm going to do is, first I'm going to diagram what the bag will look like. Okay. This sometimes helps students that are struggling with this technique. You can see that I'm going to try to get this dotted line to meet up with this dotted line making a cone. And back here on this end is where we will actually load the chocolate or the royal icing or you know colored frosting, whatever it is that we're going to be piping out of it. So let me show you. I first make the cone here. And you can see on the inside how that the edge almost meets the point. The two points meet up there. You want to hold that steady and then wrap this side around. You want to try to have paper that has no wrinkles in it. The bags just stay a lot nicer. It's much easier for you to do that. You can see that we have a really very nice point. The, the end result, you don't want an opening in the bag. And if you do have an opening, there is a way to kind of sharpen it where you pull your four fingers back and your thumb forward like so with the bag. And I'll show you an example of that. I'm deliberately going to leave a larger hole here. And you can see if you pull back on your fingers, it sharpens it up for you. And you can hold it tight and then wrap the paper in. You tuck the long end in and that holds the whole bag together. I personally like the bigger hole here because I have better aim with my chocolate or whatever I'm loading into the bag. If you have a smaller hole in the back, uh, it's, it's, it's difficult to, to hit the target. So I'll do that again a few times for you. I like to define my point or my tip of my bag on the table and then I pick up the paper, still holding that very extreme point and then just kind of flip the bag over and pull back. And that's it. I hope this demonstration was useful and we'll see you next time. Thank you so much.